Good day, my friends, and welcome to my Van Life Health and Care titled videos where we can come together and work together to have better health and care while we're on the road. So today we're going to talk about part two of my Nomad Loneliness series as we talk about loneliness on the road. All right, so are we ready to get into episode two? Let's get started. All right, so at this time, uh, Kent and I get back together and it's a very difficult, challenging time for us and for him because it's well known on YouTube that he loses his dog Rocky a couple months later after we get back together and it was just like about four days from the time that we were going to have to go apart again because doctors and t and another a test that I really needed to or pre-screening test that I needed to get through so uh, we go our own way again and we definitely got a stronger bond from the loss of his dog Rocky it was really a difficult time but a bonding time for us so I had to readjust getting used to being apart again okay um, but at least I knew it was only two months not four months so that process wasn't as difficult this particular time frame and we get back together but one of the things that I start to realize this journey back together is um, not making people the center of your happiness you know and I started watching more and more that he had this hobby that he was just so in love with is his ham radio and that's a that's a good thing I think we all need to have some kind of an interest when we're on the road as a hobby because one person cannot be your center of attention even when you do start to build a bond with somebody or a group together they can't fulfill your needs 100% of the uh, of the time I mean in fact at all they need to be a blessing in your life and complement your life but they shouldn't be the main source of what makes you 100% happy in inside you need to be happy by yourself and I needed to learn this and I know I should know this by now but I think I still am and was still trying to be healed from the death of my ex-husband that really really took a toll on me and I was never able to finish my um, don't give up series because the next part of that series was talking about the loss of my job and getting into the loss of my ex-husband that I was not ready to go there emotionally but literally I had to learn to enjoy life all over again in a process okay and learn to even love music again because even music reminded me of my ex-husband because of his love for music he played a piano um, we he just music was his his world and I loved music but it was really hard for me to go there um, really it was and so through Kent and his love for country and music and you know um, I started to embark on 
the love of music again, the love of, of you know, or actually a new love for country. I never was a country music lover a hundred percent, but with him I start to grow this love of a different style of music than what me and my ex-husband used to listen to, which I think was good because it helped to rekindle this love of music that I have. And it's it's listening to today's country, you know. I grow there, embark on that journey, start to love music again, and just find my groove. <laughs> And in the process, I start to learn, too, of meeting some girls at RTR that love to bead. And I start to think about other interests. What can I do on the road that I could find as an interest and a hobby? Because I used to do crafts at home. And you can't take what I used to do on the road because I had... Uh, floral arrangements or I was in love with floral arrangements I had a glue gun I was always doing things like that and you can't do that on the road it's just I don't have the room for it and what can I do in such a small space and I start to meet Carol from hike with me <laughs> hi sweetie I love you <laughs> and so I meet her I learn to bead um, I just learn about wow I really need to start to think about finding other interests on the road because can't can't be that a hundred percent person to fulfill me you know 100 percent of the time you know and we have to be apart as a couple and be able to come together and complement each other so i was trying to find my my you know healing in that loneliness on the road in other interests that I've always wanted to do. So I start to learn that, but more so after we come apart this last year. So this last year we've been apart a whole year and I have grown so much as a person. I have learned that, like I said, people cannot be that 100% fulfillment and source of your happiness and I have really grown so much and to feel more confident about being alone on the road finding my peace when that happens and I started pursuing um, more and more interests reading the flute, photography, you know, just growing in so many different places and getting excited about life again and get, getting excited about taking control of my health, taking control of my emotional uh, state of being um, uh, and, and physical, just taking charge of my life that this life now has brought me to this part and that it's okay to be alone. We don't have to um, fear it, you know. But I needed to be alone to get to this part of where I'm at. Now I do want to mention I've always loved to read. In fact, one of the huge losses that I lost when I had to sell my house because I lost my job because of my disabilities was a huge book collection that I had, you know, and all my other kind of interests. But I also embarked on so many obstacles of life. As I mentioned, trying to get my delayed registration of birth, trying to get my passport, which I had obstacles, and um, things like that, that I still had no 100% completion about. I just got my passport, so that's the final completion. That was a huge um, load off my back because when you're also carrying uh, any kind of baggage with you, when you start to hit the road, all that's going to come with you. And so it was really hard for me to 
um, trust that everything was going to be okay in the end. And I am learning so much too about, um, you know, not looking at the worst in all situations and sometimes things don't get resolved immediately but to have more faith and confidence that everything is going to work out no matter how much time frame it may take to get there but that everything will work out and to have more of a positive mindset as I'm working through situations in my life because I think I was still carrying so much negativity in my mind because of the you know death of my ex-husband and all the obstacles that I kept getting hit with so close together that was affecting me being really really 100% happy on the road or my happiness on the road because one of the things that people need to remember that I'm going to wrap this particular video about and we're going to get into more things as the next couple of weeks is um, some people embark on this road by choice thinking that this lifestyle is going to be a 100% cure-all for all of their issues and everything in life and once they go on the road life is just going to be peachy king and you know and all their problems will be solved well no you still take yourself with you you take anything that you haven't resolved in your past you're going to take with you it can help you maybe work through those things if you're open to it but you're still going to take yourself with you on the road and so and a lot of time all your your baggage all your skeletons from your closet you know they're all going to go with you on the road okay and so one thing i have learned from this past year is to open up that closet door look at those skeletons in that closet you face them head on because this lifestyle is not going to get rid of those skeletons it's going to be taking them out one by one by one and start removing them because they're going to go with you but if you're open to look at them work through them and work inside your you know your your soul and start to say I want all of these gone I want them gone if I'm gonna have true happiness I gotta work inside here first and then once all of those skeletons and everything is cleansed and worked through or you're continually working through them you know, probably some of them a little longer than others, um, then you really, really start to embrace life and get more happiness outside and enjoying everything that is outside of you. But we have to work on the inside first. That is our inner source of peace and happiness. Is it is in our is in our our soul okay and I believe in God and yes God is my strength and God is my you know main source of happiness but if I don't work through all of the skeletons he's not even able to fulfill me 100% and and bring me that total peace and happiness it's really living in the moment living in now working through past hurts and pains and struggles and things and start living more in the moment right living in now embracing the now embracing this this time frame where we're at and the more we can do that the more we can appreciate that tree right there that place we're seeing the music that I might be getting to listen to right now the craft things that I could be doing right now 
it's it's allowing me to be more joyful of what I'm embracing and experiencing at this moment not worrying about too far ahead of me put the past behind and live today that is where we're going to not be lonely and and learn to love to be with ourselves you know so I'll get into that a little bit more for those that want to go on this journey with me and we're going to talk about journaling. Journaling has been huge for me and also meditation, relaxing, um, eating better. Those, I mean, all of that is so important is, is not only our mind, or, you know, our soul, but what we put into our body um, of staying as healthy as we can can help to in the long run. All right, so I'm going to end with that one on, on this video, but stay tuned for the next one, and we're going to get into a lot more things too as well. All right, so we're going to battle this nomad loneliness or anybody who might be thinking that they're going to, you know, be struggling with it or anybody who is struggling with it. Okay, we're going to get through it. I love you all, and I'll see you in the next video. So remember, at this time, I have created the Pink Rollers, which is a private uh, face, face, blah, 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 blah. <laughs>